Welcome to the uh, helm station on Concise 10 of Mod 70. Let me give you a whistle stop tour of the whole boat. Uh, sitting here in the starboard cockpit. Uh, the tiller isn't here, but normally the, this is the tiller that controls all three rudders on the boat. I've got a lot of controls up here because these boats are also made to be sailed short handed. They're very comfortable, well protected little position. I can raise and lower this screen here to protect me from the spray. I've got instruments here and instruments up on the forward beam over there. Over here I've also got a uh, winch uh, which I can use to control the traveller. So I can pay the traveller out there. There's a lot of hydraulics on this boat. The mast is canting. You always have it uh, generally canted to, well, to windward. You try and keep the mast upright while the rest of the boat heels. It can cant uh, plus and minus uh, 12 degrees either side, so 25 degrees in total. Here, if I pull this handle here, that's what releases these big hydraulics down on the back of the beam over here. These big hydraulic rams come back and forth, these numbers here, to control the cant. And another thing I have here is this foot pedal down here, and this allows me to dump the main sheet. So I've got the traveller here, the main sheet there, and if I pull that just before the tack, I use the pressure in the sail to put the rig down to leeward, ready for when I come through the eye of the wind and run across the trampoline. No obstacles here, it's all nice and clean, no beams to step over. Past the grinders who are going furiously there, and uh, ready, grab the new tiller and the rig will be over this side ready for me. And so everything's duplicated. Mast transfer, uh, traveller and uh, main sheet down here on a foot pedal. These boats, including this one, actually uh, capsized uh, when they first came out because they didn't have the, the, these release systems set up properly. So when the boats flew a hull, the guy's got one hand on the tiller and, and one hand on the traveller and the trouble with a canted rig boat is that the traveller doesn't always go out when the mast is canted over unless you ease the main sheet. And the, the missing part of the link that caused the capsize was not having that foot release there that gives you effectively a third hand. So down here in the middle we have the, uh, the grinders. Uh, you can link or, or disconnect these, uh, these two pedestals here. All the hydraulics can also be operated from here to release, you know, the main sheet, the outhaul for the sail, and um, and the, the big hydraulics that control the angle of the uh, of the mast. Fantastic part of this boat here is this cuddy here. You've got this lovely protected area where you can set up here and get out of the fury of the apparent wind and all the spray. And a lot of the boats are actually moving a lot of their nav equipment up here, so the navigator can see exactly what's going on and look at all the. Um, all, all the charts and everything while it's here. So radars, uh, radio and everything's also duplicated here. We go forward. All the control lines are here. These are these rings that allow you to pull the clues of the sail inboard and outboard and up and down. All those controls are here. And, uh, a rotating wing mast. So uh, the mast uh, rotates from side to side and cants from side to side. All the halyards here are on locks, so when you pull the halyards up, they lock up into the mast up there, so there's no halyards under tension when you're sailing. The dagger board goes up and down here, the main board comes right up, and we, uh, when it's fully down, it's about 15 foot deep. And uh, one of the great parts of this boat is these curved foils that go up and down. They're not actually that big on the Mod 70. But when that thing goes down, that bow comes out, and one of the uh, you know the, the big dead ends of, of, of multi hole sailing used to be nose diving, and uh, used to be one of the real danger zones. But just by putting that down, they're actually quite forward on the Mod 70, so the boat tends to ride with the nose high, and that means you can push super hard in um, you know real dangerous angles around 90, 100 degrees, and that bows up. The boat's going faster and uh, there's no nose diving limit on them now. It's fantastic, very reliable and very safe. And then with the uh, Mod 70, uh, they got the same uh, height mast as the Orma 60s used to have. The Orma 60s used to be wider and 10 foot shorter. Obviously a Mod 70 is against an Orma 60. So that bow out there pretty much represents what used to be the bow sprit. So we have no bow sprit cables anything out there anymore. It's just the Jenica attaches onto the bow. Very clean, very simple, very strong uh, and a very safe boat. Very tough too. If you have a look here, the depth of the, these beams in the middle down there, it's a very, it's a huge section which is part of the reason why they've got this, uh, this fabric fairing on the back here 
because it would be a very uh, aerodynamically draggy shape otherwise. But a uh, very strong boat, fantastic boat. Safe, fast, comfortable, reliable. This is one of those boats that you can go out and blast around at 30 to 40 knot all day, bring it back, tie it up to the dock, hose it off and go to the bar. It's a, it's a great bit of kit.